Hey everyone, welcome to this week's episode of Windy Old Git, the vlog of my 50th year on planet Earth. As you can see, I'm back where I'm supposed to be. I'm feeling a lot more comfortable for it. What has happened this week? So there's a lot of work going on in February for me. I'm doing holiday cover up at City University for George uh, while he's away, which meant that I had to get up at chuffity bastard o'clock in the morning to go to work. Uh, I did a little bit of vlogging when I was there. It had been a bit snowy when I left Crowborough and a little bit rainy when I got to London, um, but I, I vlogged anyway because I am a consummate professional, you know. Oh yes. So this is me for the next month coming up to City University. Um, actually, it's quite a nice place to work. Well, the one thing I don't like is coming up to London. Um, I had to get up at 4.30 this morning. It's now almost 7.30 and I've just arrived at my desk. Fair enough, I have had uh, quite a nice walk across London doing that, but three hours after you get up, uh, ready for work. In contrast, when I'm in Crowborough, I will get up at seven o'clock. I will probably have some breakfast and stuff, leave the house at eight o'clock, so an hour after I've got up, and be at work for about five past eight, which is why I prefer working in Crowborough. Still, loads of inspirational quotes and stuff all around the place. That's a music one. Here's a better one. Yeah, here's a good one for you. See, I always imagined paradise would be a kind of place where they had no alarm clocks and sunshine. By the time the weekend came round, I was actually working again, this time in Milton Keynes. Uh, but after I've been to Milton Keynes, I did go and see my great mates, uh, Kelvin and Andy. Um, we had a good night out, but I didn't vlog anything. Uh, they, just, they just don't seem like the vlogging type to me. Uh, so I thought, you know, keep my camera in my pocket. Uh, before I started work at the weekend, I had to pick up Bill from the station. So I was a little bit early and I thought, uh, what can I do with myself? Uh, so I decided to record this while I was at the station. Good morning world. It is Saturday morning. I don't have my fancy microphone on, so I hope the sound is okay on this. I've come to Milton Keynes, got a job to commission here, and I'm just waiting for Mr. Walsh, who's going to come up and give me uh, some help for the day. But it is Saturday and I'm really, really tired of working on Saturdays. In fact, of working at all. Anyway, that's me for today. Later on, I'm going to see Kelvin. Um, we're gonna have a look and see whether this trip to Europe is possible, this Brexit tour. Uh, who knows? How much do I want to be in bed right now? Um, on Sunday, a rare day off, which uh, was kind of cool. I should have come in here, should have done my vlog, but instead I took my life into my own hands and decided to take Hattie on a driving lesson. In fairness, she is actually getting very close to a test and she's very good. Uh, we went on quite a journey, to be fair. Uh, we drove from Crowborough, we did a lot of roundabout work, went over to Sheffield Park, down through East Grinstead, all the way up to Oxted, then over to see her grandma, and then we uh, drove home again. I have to say, Hattie's getting the hang of it. The only thing that's gonna let her down on her test is if she gets nervous, because she's definitely competent enough as a driver, as I'm sure you can see from this. Oh, we've, we've so this, this is the last will and testament <laughs> of Lord Andrew James Campbell. So horrible. I've really well today. Driving. That's fine. I'm not going to put her off by vlogging this actual part of it, but I, I will be. I will be turning the camera on again when we're going. Why? It's going to distract me driving. I need things to. Do you know, nothing interesting has happened this week. What? So you're going to put my crash online? <laughs> Have you been in an accident that wasn't your fault? It was probably your daughter's while she was driving and you were vlogging her! We're all fine. Look, can you see movement out of the car? And she's driving. Yeah. No, because I want to look over. Don't look over. Well, I know that. Thank my, you. My vlog? Windy old git. Bloody hell. It's not drivey old hattie. <laughs> I'm going to start a new vlog for, from when I pass my test. Yeah. I'm going to do drivey old hattie. We're doing well. We've made it about halfway back, and, and so far, it's, it's you know, there's been Shut no up. major events. You're doing well. You're doing I mean, well. I should really keep an eye on the road here, though. You really should. I, should. I don't know what I'm doing, clearly. Yeah, okay. Oh, God. Yeah, oh. you slow down a bit. Yeah, I'm slowing. Okay. Yeah. 
after we got back from the driving lesson, uh, the present Mrs. Campson and I decided to smash open our savings jar. Uh, we've been putting two pound coins and any money that people have given us as gifts, etc., in a big pot that Paul and Virginia gave us as a present. Um, I think the pot was a 25th wedding anniversary present, so I think we've been saving up for a couple of years now. Uh, the pot was quite full, but we're going to Reykjavik on holiday at the beginning of March, and Reykjavik is a notoriously expensive place, so we thought, right, that it's going to be the time to smash it open uh, it's a bit of an event it's one of those pots of dreams where it's, there's no way of getting the money out unless you smash it to bits so sensibly instead of taking it in the garden or wrapping it in a tea towel we decided to go to the front room and smash it open with a sledgehammer like ladies and gentlemen oh. welcome to andy's 50th vlog i'm not sure what's happened to elizabeth no, Dad. No. <laughs> Yeah, well anyway, today we are here for a very special reason and I've got to turn my camera around to show you what that is. Hattie's videoing in ultra slow motion what we're about to do. This is our savings fund for um, Reykjavik, which was a pot which was kindly given to us by Paul and Virginia and we've been filling it up with two pound coins and Elizabeth's housekeeping money uh, and some Christmas money that went in there as well. So now we need to get into it. Luckily, we have just the thing here. So here we go. So thank you very much to Paul and Virginia for the pot that has helped us uh, get quite a lot of money. That is going to pay for our hotel. It's going to pay for our meals when we're in Reykjavik. So we should have a top time in Reykjavik. The only thing that we need now is for the gods to be shining upon us so that we can see the northern lights. Uh, we went to Tromso with everyone a couple of years back and didn't see the Northern Lights. We just had a really expensive minibus ride around Tromso. Uh, we booked another safari when we go to Reykjavik. Obviously, they're not guaranteed, but um, this is an off-road safari. So I'm really hoping that even if we don't see the Northern Lights, it'll be a little bit more fun rather than just trolling around in a minibus. That's really all that's happened this week. Uh, marginally more interesting than last week. No VAV units this week, but uh, still not tremendously exciting, but that does mean that it keeps it nice and short. And I know you guys appreciate that. If you do want to send in the end bit, you know, the uh, like, comment and subscribe, I still have, um, of my 27 t-shirts that I'm giving away, I've got one, Elizabeth's got one, uh, which means there's 25 to go. So I'm really hoping that before very long, someone is actually going to enter my competition um, because uh, it would just make me feel better. Look at me, look how lonely I am. It's the evening, nothing here, except my cushion for company. <laughs> Please love me. And on that note, the only other thing to say is, just in case I don't get a chance to talk to you again, like, comment, and, and subscribe, subscribe down, down below. below. And if you could turn on post, post notifications, notifications, that would be great. And I'll see you next week. Bye.